Hello, I'm Dr. Manita Rattan from the Hyperpigmentation Clinic. This channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of color. As you know, I'm the world's only doctor and cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. And this whole channel is dedicated to educating and empowering our global community. So today's video is all about hyaluronic acid. Does it work? How does it work? How should we be using it? And what are the fundamental mistakes we're making when it comes to hyaluronic acid? So if that sounds good to you, please give me a thumbs up. So let's start off by talking about what is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is an extremely powerful humectant. So what is a humectant, Dr. V? A humectant is, think of it like a water magnet. So imagine one molecule of hyaluronic acid is gonna draw in a thousand molecules of water. It's that powerful. This can be a blessing and it can be a curse. I'll tell you why. The blessing is, if you're in a humid environment, then water is going to be drawn from the environment to your epidermis. Don't forget, it never it never penetrates further than your epidermis. Hyaluronic acid always stays in the epidermal layer. So if you're from a humid environment, that water magnet will draw water in from the environment into your skin. However, if you're in a dry environment, you're using a lot of central heating or you use a lot of air conditioning, then guess what? Your water is gonna come from the lower levels of the epidermis rather than the environment. And actually what will end up happening is that your skin is gonna feel drier after using the hyaluronic acid, which is absolutely what we don't want. It's a very big mistake. So what, we, what I tend to do is I tend to apply the hyaluronic acid first then I apply a moisturizer on top because don't forget a moisturizer has got a fat content and water content, the fat phase and the water phase. So then the water will be coming from your moisturizer. Alternatively, if you are using air conditioning, then to be honest, even a moisturizer is not going to have enough water for you. you it's worth you buying a humidifier. Um, so that you now have more water in the air and your skin will feel so much better in the morning. It's not going to feel dry and cracked and dehydrated in the morning. You want your skin to feel supple and young and has had all night to sleep and restore itself. Um, and that is really what we're going for. So that's actually a very... Um, that's an excellent thing to purchase if you come from an area where you're using a lot of air conditioning. Okay, so there are lots of other benefits actually with hyaluronic acid as well. So it is a carrier molecule for a lot of actives to bring it deeper into the skin. So for example, with your vitamin A, your niacinamide, your vitamin C, your kojic acid, um, hyaluronic acid pairs very nicely with those actives. The other thing that it does very well is it's an anti-inflammatory. So it's very good for eczema-prone skin if you have no other actives in that particular cream. But don't forget, again, you need to have high water content um, and a high fat content on a moisturizer that you're going to apply on top of eczema skin. In fact, I've done a whole video for you on one for dry skin and one on eczema skin. So it's worth watching both if eczema is actually one of your issues. So how do we use this in a setting, in your bathroom setting? So what I would say is, it's probably not worth you purchasing wash off hyaluronic acids, to be honest, because it's only gonna be effective if it's staying on the skin. So, you know, the toners that have hyaluronic acid in it, yeah, it's great, or the washes that have hyaluronic acid, it's fine, but I really wouldn't spend too much money on that, to be honest. What you want is a leave-on cream, um, and that I would be happy to invest in. So hyaluronic acid is actually an anion glucosaminoglycan. So it's a repeating sugar backbone. Now, don't forget your anion is negatively charged and it's attracted to the positively charged water molecule. And that's how it works. So one gram of hyaluronic acid is going to draw in two gallons of water. So it's that powerful. So it is a great ingredient, I think, to include into your skincare routine. So the effect really of a cumectant is to plump up the skin and that's what it's good for. So an alternative to hyaluronic acid is glycerin. Now glycerin is much cheaper, easier to find. It's also a very good humectant. What I'd say is probably avoid it if you have oily acne prone skin, stick with hyaluronic acid if that's your skin type, but otherwise glycerin is also a very good humectant. Now the two products that I love with hyaluronic acid in it um, is the Ordinary, which is, very cheap, affordable, 
I love The Ordinary because it does really democratize skincare. I've actually done a whole series for you on The Ordinary about layering The Ordinary and what you should be buying, what you should be avoiding. So that's worth uh, watching. The other one that I like is CeraVe. So CeraVe also has hyaluronic acid in it too. So the key things to look for when you're purchasing your moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, make sure there's no other irritants in there. I don't want you to have any essential oils, any fragrance, um, anything, any masking agents where they're not very clear about which fragrance that they're using. And that's actually really important, especially if your key thing you're trying to do here is plump up the skin and hydrate the skin, especially for aging skin, which is already more sensitive. Please download your free guide. The link is down below, which is for skincare for skin of color, what we should be using and what we should be avoiding. Please let me know what other guides you want me to make for you. I have some time next week, so I'm ready to write a full book for you. you tell me what you want and I will do it for you. And any other, um, videos you want me to make for you what i love to see down below actually is if you've written something that you want to see a video you want to see and lots of people liked it then i know that a lot of people are going to want it and i will absolutely make it for you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon